Hi everyone, welcome down to the pear tree plot. We've come down today to do a winter pruning of the gooseberry bushes, although it might not seem like a winter day it is. Um, so we've inherited three gooseberry bushes um, and it looks like they've been neglected so we're going to give them a good trim back this year. It might seem a bit counterproductive by chopping back the gooseberries but it does stimulate growth for the next year and you want to chop out any old wood because um, the older the wood the less fruit you're going to get. So what you need is just a simple pair of secateurs, nice and sharp, and we're going to use some ties just to tie to the branches so we know which one just to cut out. Um, with the pruning itself what you're looking for is you want to get rid of any low-lying branches because they're more prone to um, damage and rotting and disease. Also the fruit that are on them is going to be low to the ground so it's likely to rot or be be eaten by um, slugs and rodents. Also look out for any cross branching, get rid of them and then open up the centre so that air can circulate into the gooseberry bush um, and that will stop pests and diseases getting in there. Because these have been left for so long there's quite a lot of weeds and tangleweed in there so at the same time we're going to give it a bit of a, a tidy up in there. Um, so just remember just cut back the main branches to about half you want to have to about between the whole plant you want to have about eight to ten main branches and then cut the side shoots down a little bit to a couple of centimeters in each and you can see the buds so look out for ones with more buds and, and keep them and chop out any dark older wood because you'll get a lot less fruit on that okay so if you want to just come for a closer look uh, I'll show you what to do So the gooseberry bushes have quite a lot of spikes on so if you want to wear long sleeves and a pair of gloves feel free to do so. First we're just going to chop any uh, crust and branches because then they come out and then after that we'll look at what we've got left to then um, keep the best growth and cut out the old growth. So anything that crosses within the bush itself, just get rid of. So as you can see this gooseberry bush has been quite neglected and we've got a lot of them sprouting out along the ground so again just get rid of these old bits of wood and you want to leave yourself a bit of a gap between the gooseberry branches and the floor. remember to get into the centre but if we cut a lot of the crossing branches first it'll make it easier getting in the centre. So once you've cut your gooseberry bushes you'll have a pile that looks just like this. We've cut about a third off all three gooseberry bushes um, and that's just opened them up nicely. I'll just show you a bit of an example of the older wood. So this darker wood here is possibly three to four year old and these side shoots here, the lighter coloured ones, are a lot lighter and it'll be the shoots that are a year old that'll bear the fruit there on that year. <laughs> The shoots that are just coming through will probably not have any fruit. Um, yeah, so that's two examples. Um, although I've got bare hands, um, I would definitely advise wearing gloves because I'm um, still getting a few phones that I've stuck in and I can't get them out at all. So 
definitely invest in a good pair of gloves before you prune your gooseberry bushes. So the gooseberry bush itself should look nice and open once you've cut it with about 8 to 10 main branches and as you can see underneath we try to get it off the ground as much as possible tidying up around the side as we go getting in the weeds out just be careful with the roots underneath so just use a small trowel or something not a digging very deep so fast forward now up to June and as you can see all three gooseberry bushes are pl uh, producing plenty of gooseberries uh, what you want to do is definitely net them otherwise the birds and pigeons will definitely peck at them and you'll lose your crop uh, and another bit of advice if you can't get the gooseberries because they're tucked in use a hammer to push around it just helps you access them a little bit more because the, the thorns are pretty spiky so you want to just come and take a look at how many gooseberries we've got on these three bushes So let us know how you're getting on with your gooseberries. We've uh, we've made gooseberry fool, gooseberry pie, gooseberry jam, and we still got plenty to go.